Baker, thank you. Uh, fire that broke out near an iconic Oregon landmark is now almost fully contained. It started a couple miles east of Multnomah Falls last night and grew to an acre and a half with crews from several agencies working overnight to keep the flames at bay. Well, today, Fox 12's Carly Olson went to the gorge to learn more about the fire season outlook there and why even the smallest blazes have to be taken seriously. By the looks of it, it was just another summer day at Multnomah Falls with visitors from all over. We're coming back from our annual pil pilgrimage to the Oregon coast mm -hmm. and uh, on our way back home to North Idaho. And we decided on the way we'd stop and check out the fall. But drive a couple of miles east on I-84 and a smoky scene paints a different picture. The hillside fire started Monday night, growing to an acre and a half in the middle of a burn scar from the Eagle Creek fire between the railroad and the highway above. It's one of those areas where everybody's heard of the Eagle Creek fire, so we try to, we're trying to keep it as small as possible to help stave off any fears. But of course, not many had heard of this fire. Not surprising. Yeah. You know, people are kind of careless sometimes with things. I don't know why it was how it was started, but. A lot of fires start from cigarette butts or people dragging a tow chain. Portland or Oregon, for that matter, Washington, have the most rain. And so it is kind of a shocker to me. Uh, coming from California, where we have a lot of wildfires, and we don't have that abundance of rain. According to ODF, the ground and brush is especially dry this year in the gorge, making it even easier for those fires to start. The hillside fire was a small but very real reminder of the importance of prevention. If you're towing, you're towing a trailer, um, whatever the trailer may be, just make sure your chains that are attached to your trailer are tucked away, making sure that you are parked on asphalt. I think just being aware and watching and reporting something if you see it. The more we can get our help from uh, Oregonians, the better. For more wildfire prevention information, you can visit the web version of this story at kptv.com. Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon.